Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelists once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! All right, we about to take over. We got our first we'll duel make you regret matching. Up. Let's see. Initiation round. Let's see if we can put in work. All right. Yeah, we, we pretty much know that. They got the yellow bubble. Hit him with the Levioso. Oh, yeah, she's done for. She's done for. She's about to catch the hands. Come here. Oh. Look at that. I'm comboing them like I'm playing Tekken out here. Why oh, is she still alive? Okay, she died. Or not died, but went down. I ain't mean the Lumos on him, but that was easy. That was pretty uh, light work. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to That's see you back up. here again. Did pretty good. All right. So we got that down. That was a side uh, side quest that we can do. Um, hey, we leveled up. So I, I guess we can head to... Um, so with these uh, flags here, if they're black, that means they have like side quests. So there's two here. We can, cause that in the same area that, oh, back up, back. Where's the, hold on. The, the main mission Handy didn't pop up. Indeed. Okay. Okay. So the main mission is in that area. What's this one? Okay. So we gotta be professional Weasley. So I, we can do these side quests here. Get them out the way. Yeah, we can do that. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay, let's see what we got here that she could not figure out herself. So we're going to do is use this little bad boy. Lumos. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Accio. Get that page. All right. 
skulls in this area. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Was it nice to see you, my young friend? Revelio. Let me collect that real quick. Here we go. Lumos. Come on, let's go back. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. That was pretty easy. She couldn't figure that out. What year is she? I'm just a fifth year trying to get back in my stuff. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the normal. I'm like I the behind on everything, frame. and I was able to figure that out. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Mmm. Not telling. Uh, I want to be mean, but I also feel like I should just help her out this once to tell her what she didn't do right. Man, I'm trying to put Ravencroft on the map, so. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. But you didn't, so that should tell you something that you're not a good detective. You should probably go back to the books, the drawing board for that. What's this? Zelda Bloom have a lofty problem there. Where is she? Over here. Let's see what she's. I really have about. made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay, okay, so we gotta find five of them. Should be pretty easy. Alright. Oh, I'm going to have to use one. That. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, that was uh collectible. There's two. Revelio. Probably Revelio. There's to see. Oh the yeah, there's oh there's one right here. Ah, I missed. Is he coming back? This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. What she got? So that it was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potion. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiment. I'm utterly convinced that if it wasn't for wasn't Professor Wesley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. 
Oh damn, she she right never with our both smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pies. Okay. The diary kind of trash. There, there, there wasn't nothing juicy in it. So she could probably just let that fall in the wrong hands. It probably wouldn't do no nothing to her anyway. Give me that. One more. Okay, here. Rebellion. Oh, right there. Yeah, there's nothing really in that diary that's exclusive anything. That's the He's last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. But I heard just saying that, you know, basically the, 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 the dude in our class is related to we uh, Weasley or Wesley. Or whatever. But let's take this stuff back to her and see what she says. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Hmm. Here we go. Or perhaps a reward to keep the diaries. You see, see, I'm all out of my nice. Was it nice? Uh, what I say, like tokens or whatever, or being nice to people right now. Since I had to go and gather all those pages, you know, she could have did that herself. You know, whatever. They were her books. It's her fault that. We're here now, so, you know, I deserve a reward. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. Yeah, 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 pay up the money. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. They they all better be sunshine and rainbows. Better not be disrespectful. You gonna catch these hands or magic? Hey, we got three hundred. Oh, oh, okay. That's what we doing. We taxing everybody. I think we got three hundred coins off her. Yeah, we taxing everybody. This is GG's for anybody that's not Ravencroft. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nah, not really. This is uh, none of your business, to be honest. You can kind of, you know, mind your business before you get hurt. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. 
What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. I might have to go with Sebastian. I, I, you know, I feel like, you know, Natty, you know, she might be annoying, you know, taking this trip. Sebastian looked like he might be the bro, had the back, you know, if anything pop off in the town. So we're going to go with my boy Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay, okay. So we got me with Professor Ronan. Go ahead and take these assignments and all that. Get those out the way so we can hit the city. Or right, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignment or type of quest given to you by Hogwarts professors. That's when complete rewards you with a new spell. The reward for completing your first assignment would be the Menin Charm Repero, which is required to complete um, other quests. You can track assignment and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. So make, meet with the professor so we can uh ooh, kitty. So we can uh yeah make it to the the wherever we're supposed to go oh. oh it's this dude okay ah there you are you have a new spell to teach me professor indeed i do and an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm repero fixes things right up Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, what are the tasks? Collect the flying pages near the broken statues. Okay. Boom. Got one. Then we gotta go to the dark odds to get the other pages or other pages. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Oh, sorry. Accio. Turns professor get our spell. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. I got this. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. There we 
go. Repetto is now in our inventory, our repertoire. We use a broken object. Obviously. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. <laughs> Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> nice. All right. Got that in the bag. So yeah, let's go ahead to where we need to go. That's good. So we got a new spell. So far, this game, like I said, I think I said it before, it's pretty good so far. You know, we still in the beginning, so not a lot of stuff popped off. So we still, you know, learning the uh, the different spells, learning, uh, exploring the school and all that, you know, get to know everybody in the crew. But I'm sure, you know, everything ain't going to be sunshine and rainbows once we... Uh, once we uh all right <laughs> uh, but yeah i'm sure things will pop off soon let's go well, meet our man sebastian missing you here what up bro hello sebastian ah my new charge i'm told you're in dire need of supplies and i'm to accompany you into hogsmeade for them is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I'd be wise to keep an eye on you Speaking as well. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Uh, snatch all of that. See what we can brew with that. Since he said he can make powerful potions. Maybe it has something to do with like health and stuff. From the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. You think Poppy's already Damn, man, I kind of want that. Absolutely. Oh, man, move out the way, man. Y'all in the Why way. They already named them too? Probably. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Yeah, man, there there wasn't no carriage for us to ride in. To the village? That seemed kind of far. To the castle. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. 
I've been there Italian. five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Anything you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I'm just the chosen one, man. Look, I'm, I'm the one. Greatest. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Where are these guys in the yellow? Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Hmm. But well, Mr. Moon seemed to be off that sauce, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's what it seemed like. I don't know how he became caretaker, but we shall see. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of entrance that interest that can navigate you that you can navigate using your field guide map. Let's see. Hogsmeade map shows shops and point of interest. Interest. You can track any of these by highlighting the icon and pressing X. Alright. So we got like Ooh, four shops to visit. Let's see where they are on the map. Where am I? So we got some down there. Is this one? An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. 
Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. All right, cool. So we got that. So we still need to get the wand, potion, and some that magic meat. Collect some ingredients. I think. So I think the wand joints was here. Yeah, here we go. Merlin, blew me. Yeah, chess. Not again. Like seventeen bucks in that. I'll be right with. Ah. It's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, what we got here? Crooked spiral, dark gray. Huh. Let's see, ooh, we can change the color. Actually. Curious indeed. Saw spiral, like brown. And honey brown looking nice. How intriguing. Gray. Get the classic, get that. Curious That's indeed. I don't like that a little bit. What does this do? What does the length do? Yeah. How intriguing. Make a big boy. Unbending. Stiff, solid, brittle. Curious indeed. Whippy, I guess. Uh, we got the dragon heart string, dragon heart string that serve as the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. Unicorn hair, the hair of a unicorn will serve as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. And then phoenix feather, feather of a phoenix that serve as the core of a wand, capable of producing a great range of magic. I feel like we're gonna need something powerful. I mean, they all, all three seem to be.
Let's do the dragon heart. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Ooh. Yeah, we take that. Yeah, we'll do that. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Who got us a new wall, so we just need to hit up two more places. Uh, I think the one was... That... Okay, so it's basically like down the street. Okay. We gotta hit those two places. So they're right next to each other. So. I think it was like this way. To get to the potion place. Or did I get it wrong? Yeah, okay. What was there? Right here. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. What's up, man? What you got? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Oh, what was the recipe? Daughter's potion recipe. Okay, okay, we'll take that. And Wigan Well potion recipe. Okay, so that's the basic. Feel recipe. free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. All right, so we just got one more stop. Good. Sure. So dumb. I haven't really looked at it. I don't think we got any like gear or anything. Thing. Hell no. I don't think we got any other yet. Yeah. I got any. Uh, I think the last place was like up here. So. Almost good. Almost a level five, though. We're like on the, the tip. Well, hello there. 
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Cool, so we got everything we needed. Definitely gotta come back and hit that uh, potion place. In this case, if, you know, for some of these bosses, I know we're gonna have to use or need. Hopefully, it's not expensive. I didn't even look at the like how much they cost, how they how much they run. It's a school kid. I don't make that much money. We shall see. Beautiful town, though. Beautiful town. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Control the fight. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Woo. Do this, Sebastian. Damn, Sebastian, I got He is getting. Beat up. What was that? The finger. I tasted his own medicine. There you go. Done. Throwing all these barrels at him. Ah, he got me. He clocked me. Look out. This dude is pretty easy because we are pretty that high level. I think we're like level loud. five. He's oh, You won't get to do the job. Let me know. Like steps. By the trees, actually. Come on, Yomo. Ooh. Yomo got me there. Come on. Go down. Ancient magic? Okay, what we got? Now that was nice. That was nice. Basically disintegrated that man. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin, that stupid beard. question was that. Are you alright? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you 
again. I was gonna say, like, what kind of stupid questions that you know we took on that troll by ourselves? Repair. Start repairing stuff. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh, it's building everything over there. Repair. There we go. So me aiming at this, it was actually uh, fixing stuff over there for some reason. I don't know how, but I was really aiming at it. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Yeah, they destroyed a couple boxes. And stuff. I can't, oh no, it's a toy cat. That should be it. Yeah. Ooh, oh, hold on. Rebellion. Like that, my page. There's a chest in there. What up, G? 55 in there. Can't get in there. Yeah, we can't get in there. I got like some Dark Souls eyes in there. You can see right there. Oh, let me illuminate. Lumos. Nope. We'll come back for you. Oh. That's what we want to do. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Cool, man. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Yeah, sure, I'll take Thank it. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous Free stuff. of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty Every can turn down today. free stuff. Take your time. How much your clothes cost? Oh, uh, they're not available. Okay. Nice suit right there. I like that. Could just tell us how much it costs, but it's whatever is whatever. Okay, got the bow tie. Okay. Oh, here you go. Oh, I can't put it on. Okay. Yeah, typical RPG stuff. So some, you know, obviously items will affect your attack and damage in your office. Our office is terrible. What kind of clothes you got, bro? Damn, three seventy-five. Two hundred for the elegant suit. Five hundred for the the legendary one. So legendary is gonna be all like five hundred. Your extraordinary is your, your purple. Extraordinary is gonna be like three seventy five. Then the blue, which is superb, is gonna be like two hundred. That's cool. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Rebellion. Battle worthy items. Should you be inclined, well then, use my shop at your leisure. Sweet. I mean, that wasn't that bad, man. We took out that troll like it was nothing. It wasn't that bad. I don't Assuming know what it isn't about. utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. 